Are you looking for a tripod for your videos? I'm gonna talk about the one that I've been using for oh, like five years now or so. So I've had a lot of experience with it. It's been <laughs> broken a few times, so I wanna give you guys my experience with that. Um, and let's let's get into it. Oh, first of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads here. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic review of the products that I like being a dad. So if you're into that, you might want to click that subscribe button and consider subscribing. Um, but let's get into it. We have this right here. This is my tripod. I've been using it for a while now. It is a Sunpak 7500TM right there. It's uh, aluminum. All, uh, all the legs of it are aluminum and it, it uh, extends pretty far. That's one of the things that I like about it. It's got three, three lengths there. Let's see. Like this. Let me lock them down so I can... So I'm about 5'11". This comes up to my nose, but you can also turn this out and pull this up a good ways right there. <sighs> like that. And then putting that on the ground, that goes above me. It goes, so that's six, that's probably a good, I'd say six and a half feet tall that you can get with it. This is standing straight though, so if I spread the legs, it's gonna come down just a hair. Um, so it's closer to probably six point, uh, six three inches, six foot three inches, something like that. Um, one thing that I like about this is that it also has a built-in monopod, so the head comes completely off, and then from there, you have, uh, monopod action. So if you just want to take it to um, easy carry along, I guess, you can easily transform this into a monopod as well, which I have used. The only thing I don't like about the monopod thing is how big the head is on this thing. I wish it was a little bit more slimline so that, um, like whenever I'm doing a 360 video, I can't really use it that well uh, with my 360 camera. Uh, it does have a level on the head, which I really like. I wish it had a level going the other way as well. That would have been nice. Uh, the lock on it, the foot, uh, it simply is uh, this right here. You, This is the screw to screw your camera into place on top. Um, I have no, I have two of the, I think it came with two feet, but the screw comes out pretty easily. So I don't know if that's just wear and tear or if I actually did something to it or if that's just how it works. Has this other hole right here. I think that's for cameras that have an extra locking button on it so that it locks into place there. But uh, one thing you have to make sure is that you push the little um, thing to help you turn it. Push that down. Then you do your locker and then you can put your foot on like so. By the way, if you guys want to check out this tripod, I'll link it up down in the description below. Um, it does have a uh, screw right here so that you can angle it up, which I find that very useful. I wish there was a way to where I could angle it, like only have it angle this way, but the camera would move the other way, like this way, but that doesn't really happen. Uh, you have to, it's the whole head that moves. And the reason why I say that is because the stick that most tripods have on this one broke off. Um, and that's what would make me be able to rotate this way. So, um, to be able to do that, one, I either just turn my camera the other way and do it like this, um, as opposed to, you know, it going like that, but it's really, it's pretty strong. And since I can't turn the stick anymore, I can't adjust that as much. Um, so, it's just something that I've been struggling with with the tripod does also have a rotator on it, which I really like. I use that quite often. It's got a lock for the rotator as well. It does fairly well. I think I've just kind of used mine a lot, and then also my uh, bottom part is also coming off as well. So if you do want to take off the head... Oh, wow. I just realized after five years. Ah, oh, that's amazing. I can now mount my camera without the head. That's perfect for my 360 camera. I don't see where it is. Oh man. Oh, I just took it hiking. That's why. But, uh, oh, that's great. I'm so excited about this, guys. So the whole head comes off. I did not know that. Cool. I'm assuming the camera fits on there. Oh, that's so amazing. Okay, back to the feet. Uh, let's see. Let me bring this in a bit. Um, it does have rubber feet, and you can spin them. And if you spin it far enough, it turns into a spiky foot. So if you're dealing with carpet, you can 
you can spike into the carpet, that way it stays, or if you're dealing with like ceramic or tile or something like that, you can go rubberized foot so that, um, so that it doesn't slip there, it doesn't slip as much, I should say. Uh, as you can see, there has been some wear and tear, but over the past five years, really not that bad for those feet there. Um, bringing this down, let's see. Go ahead and put our monopod head back in there, boom. It does have a level right here on the sticks as well. It's really hard for you guys to see that. There's so much in the way. But it's just it's one of those circular levels, so it's a uh, you can get it dead even. Um, this is just your clamp for raising your head there if you want to just do that. It does have a lock on the middle here, so if you want just your sticks open yay far, halfway or whatever, you can lock it down right there. So that's Good if you're in tight spaces. Uh, one thing that would be nice if it had, but it doesn't, and the reason why it doesn't is because it transforms into a monopod, but they probably still could have put it on there, is um, some kind of like hook on the bottom here. Because sometimes to stabilize a tripod, what I'll do is I'll take a heavy paint can and I'll just uh, hook it onto the paint, hook the paint onto the bottom of the tripod. Although you could probably hook it onto this little screw right here uh, to give it the extra stability. Um, all in all, great tripod. Uh, it is slightly heavy, I will say, just because of the bulk of the head. If you didn't have uh, as big of a head, I think it would be a lot less lighter. Um, because most of this right here is just aluminum and plastic, uh, which I haven't really had too many issues with. You know, I've cuff, uh, brushed it and cut it a little bit and bumped it and bruised it and whatnot, but nothing, uh, nothing too substantial as far as like, bad dents or hard uh hard things I've, I've done with it so it's the only the worst thing is like i said was the uh the swivel right here on there that that broke off on me and i wish that i had that because it makes it moving a little bit easier so if you guys want to check out this tripod like i said i'll link it up down in the description below i'll also link up some other tripods that i like down in the description below if y'all guys want to look through more variety of, of good tripods um if you guys want more videos from us, there's more right there on the screen. I'd love it if you watched more of our videos, if you're liking the dad reviews. Uh, click that subscribe button if you want more of the dad reviews. If you have a product that you guys want to see on the show, let me know down in the comments below what it is, and I'll see if I can get my hands on it. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Dad out!